Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet, that's all. There you go. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I... I wish I could give you some money, or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jawed on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Unfortunately, we are the sort of person to make use of that information. Anyway, regardless of that, welcome everyone to another part in my Red Dead Redemption 200% walkthrough video. I wasn't trying to start there, I was actually on my way to get a haircut since my hair kind of grew out a little bit more than I would have liked when we saved and slept. I was mostly trying to grow out the beard, and I was going to get us a new horse as well, because this one is at its max bonding, and I'm ready to switch it out. So I was going to head to the stables and get a haircut, and then head back to camp to do the next mission. I'm actually going to use the little boat that we just bought to get the next special hat, which I planned on wearing for Pearson's mission specifically for literally the smallest detail, and just to show off that little hat and if some of you are wondering where I got this sick jacket this is the jacket that Pearson gives you by completing his cab activity so I thought it was appropriate to wear it when we would do any one of his missions so I went ahead and put it on it's just missing the hat that I wanted to wear alongside his missions as well that I kind of forgot about but we're actually gonna take the boat over to the next island and we're not gonna hunt the animals that are there, but we are going to get the hat and probably pick up a couple of treasure items as well. But as soon as we're done with that mission, will be when we are going to actually go back over and hunt it. Just so it looks nice and good in the journal as what we usually do. Yeah, so we're just heading up to Valentine to mostly switch the horse, but also get our hair cut. Now, I don't know if it's just the hair tonic I took, or this chapter, it starts to rapidly grow your hair a little bit more than usual. But if I notice that it's hard to keep up and keep the hair down, then I might let it grow out to its full length. I just kind of wish you could cut your own hair at the camp too and not just the beard but I guess it makes a little bit more sense that he has shaving supplies I don't know I just wish they had more spots so you could upkeep your facial hair and head hair as well just that's just a minor inconvenience but I also get to not everybody around here is good with scissors you know Got to be somewhat realistic. I'm going to look over here real quick to see if there is a horse here. That maybe we haven't bonded with yet. I think that's a buttermilk skin, I think. Yes, it is. Buttermilk buckskin. Do I have that one? I always lose track, but it's Kentucky Saddler. Let's see. Kentucky Saddler. We do not, so I can pick up that one if I want to. and Which is what I am going to do. There you go. Just come on. Go easy. Easy. Whoa! Easy there! Go easy! Easy, easy! Oh, you're good now, girl. 
All right, so let's get this one over in the stable. And then we'll head back to camp. I just walk into the stable or do I need to make sure I don't walk it immediately? Okay, so there's three in the stable already. So that means that I have to bond with this one and then walk in to the stable with the other horse that I'm looking to sell. I think. I can't. Oh, no, I know what to do. I just got to remove this the saddle on that one and then go into in there with that one. That's right, that one's a Tennessee Walker, duh. Duh, I knew that. I know things. I think there's a random event at this side of the the town so i don't want to start that you know in fact let's do ourselves a service yep let me get this off girl Okay, so that one is officially a part of stables and we can take Ranger here over and sell him immediately. Okay, looks like the random event wasn't here anymore. I think I saw something, but I just wanted to be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? I did not want to risk the chance of losing that horse. space okay and which one do we want to do since we have this one which one do we want to use first the buttermilk buckskin or the chestnut pinto well we got this one first we'll actually saddle her him him up And what I named the Kentucky Saddlers, I think fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's always like a, like a couple days or like a week or so sometimes when I'm recording. So from each session, which goes to show how much I actually play this in general because I can pick it up so quickly anytime that I am like trying to familiarize myself with it again. Horse liable to buck you off with a name like that. You know, I think it's a great name. All right, and I will hear... Oh no, it won't let me put three in Roman numerals, so I'm just going to do that. All right. Let's stock up on provisions. All right, you bet. Oop, did not mean to buy that, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. Bring that horse back if you need it. Only fun I've seen in 50 of days is this. Ah, uh, hello, partner. Over here, ladies. Oh, good job. I sharpened up my scissors this morning. What's it to be? Okay, firstly, let's trim our sideburns or chops, as it says. Thank you. Looks like yeah, this is at the length good. of three and four. That's good. 
I'm trying to get this to grow out as much as possible by, before the end of the chapter. It's not going to stop me from progressing missions, and I'm going to do that with each time I do change up the, the facial stuff, is I'm not going to let it need to be a certain length or whatever, but I am going to let it grow and make sure that it is growing. The only thing I'll probably make sure that I keep at the length is the hair, just because... Like, I want to have certain hair. I can do just about anything with this hair, I reckon. Is that really four? There's no way that's four. I'm crazy, right? Like, I'm... I'm. Hold on. Let me check, because I think... Yeah, I'm trying to have this be a length of... Oh, no, that's the beard. I'm, I'm sorry. I need to really pay attention. Okay, let's trim the hair. And I want this to be five, because it was three, chapter one. This is chapter two. I had it at this length most of the time. So I want it to be this length for most of chapter three. Up, I think there is a time skip in chapter three that I'm going to let it go out to here. And then chapter seven. Ow, I just hit my finger on my desk. But um, I'm going to let it grow out the length seven in chapter, I think, four. A fine job like this is a walk-in advertisement. All right, so now with our hair kind of shaved down a bit, Thanks. we're gonna head back to camp and get our next special, our next hat, and start the next mission, which is Pearson's mission. So I'll see you guys all back at camp. Well, I wasn't planning on coming across this on our way back to camp, but this is okay. We'll take the chance to to loot these guys and then also sell their wagon for a little bit extra money. And like the little message said, it, it does recommend that we take it to the wagon fence. I think at the most we'll get like $40 or something, but that's not a bad amount of money. I'm probably going to skip ahead to when I get there. But yeah, you can come across situations like this where there is a high valuable wagon that you can make money from. So just be aware that like you can you can take advantage of those situations by more than just stealing money off the guys that you probably will kill in the altercation. You'll make money by actually doing what they were going to do in the first place. This a lovely little thing. Deal. Here you go. So long. See, so I was right. Let's go. You get about like 40 bucks for turning in the wagon, which is not so bad. You know, a little bit of time, get $40 worthwhile okay we are back at camp I actually really like the entrance to this camp I find it very pretty 
and just like very calming, you know. It's a very beautiful camp, you know. I like there are some aspects about this camp I don't like. Like I think the outfits and the overall wear that everyone has like you know, makes it look like everybody's just hot and miserable sometimes. Just because I think of the gameplay elements about how what they recommend for us to wear in this area. You know, I think that's why I think of it like that. And then sometimes it does look kind of like, you know, it just looks dirty and sweaty. Which I think is the point. It's supposed to be like, you know, I think near Louisiana. Or somewhere like that, geographically. So I imagine it is sort of like that. But I do think, like... The lake, the colors, the trees along the lighting, which is just sometimes beautiful in this game, really, really makes it look all just absolutely stunning, you know? And I think that that might make this camp prettier than Chapter 2. But Chapter 2, in terms of location, will always be the most superior camp overall. It is a pretty awesome camp. I don't know, it's, for me, like, it is debatable between Chapter 3 and Chapter 2, which camp is better. There's a couple reasons I don't like Chapter 4, which I'll get to when we get to Chapter 4, specifically. But overall, I think Chapter 3 and Chapter 2 camps are just amazing. Anyway, we're actually, where we need to go to get our next hat that we are wearing for Pearson's mission, which let me please check that I have my outfit system correctly said that I wasn't going to wear anything else but for this, I think. Hold on, let me see. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, I was going to wear something else. Oh my gosh. I was actually totally going to wear something else. That's crazy. I almost went and got that hat for that mission. That is actually so funny. So no, we aren't going to go over here anymore to get the hat. We're going to do that after this mission. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I checked. Because I, like, like I said, I know nobody does these outfit systems like me. Because I'm freaking crazy, you know. But I like to show off as much as I can of the game. You know, but we're still like, this isn't a complete waste. We're actually going down here to pick up a little trinket that is in this area. We're going to pick that up since we're out here on the boat anyway. And then we're actually going to go back and make a little trip to where we can find the next hat. I am so sorry that it's been back and forth this entire episode already because, you know, I can't keep track of everything in my head sometimes because I'm a psycho that decides to have you know, these crazy intricate outfit systems for what reason other than I just want to see it. You know? I'm going so far to make sure I'm wearing the correct bandolier, the correct satchel, the correct hat, the correct jacket, the correct gun holster with gun in it. Oh gosh, I'm not really paying attention to what I am doing. Let's have some cocaine gum. But, um, to the correct knife, literally everything. You know, it's, it's just... I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> We're almost there, guys, I promise. So to get this special trinket, it kind of works out because we're going to get this now and we don't have to get it later because sometimes the boat likes to leave the island and I don't have a way back because it likes to be a jerk. All right, we're going to get out now. Hopefully it stays. And that is the worst. And then I have to reload a save just to be able to get the boat again. But if you go to this little island... The most southern island in this string of islands. And go to the center. I think you get this if you have the special edition of this game. So you want to keep that in mind. 
You go over here. There'll be a little box, like most things are in. Open it up. It is the cat eye trinket. Let's look at it. Permanently increases duration of fortifying tonic effects by 20%. I think there's like three of these trinkets that are like l specific to the ultimate or special editions of the game. Or I think they came with an update. I honestly can't remember, truth be told. But I know it was something like that. So keep in mind if you come here and it's not there, that's probably why. You know, look up what kind of edition you need. It's something like that, but... It's just one of those things, you know? But yeah, you know, like, there's three of those type of trinkets, I think, in the world. I think there's, like, one specific... Oh, look, a water snake. I think there's, a uh, one up north in the snow. I know there's one that's, like, a turtle shell trinket or something. But we will find those when the time comes. And they're pretty useful. So, be sure and look out. So sorry for wasting everyone's time with this amazing boat gameplay. You know, we we made use of it. We got the trinket, which we could have got that later, but you know, I'm stubborn and stick to it. But regardless of that, I'm actually going to go get the hat, the correct hat that we're gonna get. Which I know some of you are probably like, why don't you just get this hat? You're already out here. And I think personally. I want to wear that hat for later because I feel like it fits more. For no other reason than a gut feeling. Call me crazy. Because I am. That's just who I am. But I'm going to go actually get the other hat. So I'm going to skip to where when we get it or get close to it. So I'll see you guys all in a second. Took him a second, but he eventually got with the game plan. Whenever we're facing Lemoyne Raiders, we gotta check for their hats. You know what? Let, let me just put this on and see if that does it. Nope. Uh, I just remember sometimes their hats don't glow. You know? Ooh, we can also take this wagon to the to the fence, I think, as well. I think we're going to do that. Sorry, I know we're not actually near where the hat is that we're looking for, but this happened, and, you know, we got to stop to make sure we help the people in need. And, you know, all that goody two-shoes garbage. Oh, shit. No, 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 don't loot him. I didn't kill that guy on accident, did I? I don't think I did. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say that I didn't. Let's go ahead and take this and actually get a reward. We saved some people, and we sorta got rewarded for it in our own weird, weird little way. But I'm gonna actually go and take this wagon back to the fence, and it's already kind of on the way where we're going. So I'll see you guys all in a second when I get it there. Oh, you might be interested in this. 
Very nice. I'll find a good home for this. Spend it wisely. See you again soon. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, boy. All right, now back to the original plan, which is go over here. <laughs> We're gonna save as well, just so we don't lose any progress that we really did, you know? Sorry, I'm just checking out their hats, seeing if there's any worth stealing. Already level two with this horse. We're making good progress. We want to avoid doing his missions because he always sends us to get plants we're not ready to do yet, unfortunately. So we're going to avoid him right now. But this is where we're going to get our next hat. Come on, come on, get going. Don't knock me off, please. Okay, there we go. Good, good. I'm going to make sure I have the map pulled up so I don't miss anything. Um, okay. It's all right, boy. Let's calm down. Fried chicken. Most country name for a horse ever, I guess. Okay, we got some exploring to do here. Bill Fold will love that. Special horse medicine. Thank you very much. Special horse medicine. This herbal horse remedy were, was handed down through generations of the first settlers to New World who cherished the ginseng root for its restorative, restorative properties. In some cultures, it is thought to ward off evil. Take special care when harvesting the root. When used correctly, it can restore a horse to full health. The Balrush plant, also known as cattail or water sausage, is distinctive by its long cylindrical mass of flowers. For full horse strength, ginseng, common Balrush wild carrot, how to prepare. Place two of each in a tin cup and hold over a fire. Pour contents into the small bottle and cork. Keep out of light. This crafted recipe is most more effective than store-bought products such as Betty Sue and Bob, Bobby's Healing Horse Medicine. Did you know bathing at least once a week is beneficial for health? Bathing in sulfur cures ringworm. Bathing in vinegar cures disorders of the liver. Uh, at one point, I'm like, oh, maybe they know something we don't back in these times. And then I read the bottom, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. 
which to be fair. Well, to be fair. 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 They didn't know any better. And to them, that actually worked. They didn't know. And heck, there might be something in the future we don't know. Always have to consider that, just to be sure. Alright, which cigarette card is this? San Francisco. Do I have that one? Vistas of a mess? No, I do not. Sweet. Garma rum, we don't have any. Let's go ahead and go down. And I think there's one more card here. Drop down here. Ah. Ow. Oh, it's right here. Panther. I think I already have this one. And I think they it this was part of what is it? Fauna? Yes it is. Oh, I don't have it. Good, good, good. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Make sure I'm not missing anything before I go downstairs, which is where we're headed next. I may need to pull out the lamp. It's getting kind of dark. Drop down. Yes, that's loads better. Some mage pirate rum, because we love to get drunk. Fine brandy, don't mind if I do. Let's take some rival ammo, thank you. Civil War knife. This is the knife you can find here. We're not going to use this knife for quite a while. Story-wise, you know, I'm going to focus on using the wide blade knife during this chapter. I think I have plans to use this during chapter 5. But we are going to use the wide blade knife, but we're going to pick this up now. Let's oh. Oh, no. Didn't let us read about it. I wanted to read about it. How dare you take it away from me? Okay, it's all good. <laughs> An old Bowie knife with a solid blade, worn wooden handle, and large D-shaped handguard for protection. This weapon was commonly used by Civil War soldiers and is covered in rust. It was found in the storage room underneath the ruined Fort Brennan in Roanoke Ridge, New Hanover. I wish there was, like, you know, like, they weren't the same stats for certain knights. I wish they figured out something with that, because then I would love there to be an actual reason to use certain knives over another besides, like, just style. Civil War Report, let's read that. May 8th, 1863. Confederate soldiers under General Quincy Harris attacked Fort Brennan at night. Climbed trees to fire down on the fort, then battered and broke through the north gate. All survivors being executed and bodies burned. I am next. First Lieutenant Ronald Alger. Man, the Civil War was a sad thing, that's for sure. To this day, still technically the bloodiest war in American history. And why was it that bloody? Because I, I think technically they always say that it's the war with the highest American casualties because they consider both sides when counting that. Which I feel like is pretty, like, respectful, regardless of what people may believe about what people fought for back then, you know? It's kind of nice. But regardless of that, here is our new hat, ladies and gentlemen. The blue doesn't entirely match the scout jacket from what we see in the dark, but it's the Civil War hardy hat. That's right. We're going to wear this hat for the next mission, and it just looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? I love this hat. I just like the color blue in general, so it's freaking sweet. And it might be a little bit ridiculous for us to wear, you know, just casually. But hey, I am going to show off some hats based on what I chose to show off, and there's nothing you can say about it. Well, I guess, in a way, you could, you know... Leave comments and make me feel stupid and say, that hat's dumb. You're dumb. And it'd probably hurt my feelings. But that's okay. 
I'm just kidding, everyone. Because at the end of the day, I am playing the game how I want to play it, you know? And I know, I know people won't like the way I play the games I play sometimes. It's just the, it's just the way of the world, you know? But if that's the way you like to play the game, then don't, don't let anyone really get in the way. Now, we can sit here and debate whether our philosophy in playing the game is correct or not, you know? But ultimately, they're just video games, man. Like, if you have fun, then who's to say what you can and can't do? Unless that's hurting people. But that's a whole other discussion if you really think about it. I don't know, I've been watching a lot of retrospectives while I'm editing videos and stuff, so... This is stuff I think about for no reason other than to pick my brain. We got a chest here. Then we can pick up some other items, like a large jewelry bag. I'll take that. Love to see it. Another good pocket watch. Thank you. Figured we're over here. Might as well take advantage of it. Let's go ahead and save so we don't lose progress, as is my philosophy for just about every single thing I do in this game. You know, I don't understand why I even got in the water. Trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit, you was. You move and I'll shoot you. Lousy <laughs> bastards. I love how we always take a bullet and they gotta sit there like, uh, I think we robbed the main character, guys. <laughs> Oh, the Mumphrey Brood. They are so weird. Yep. Okay, it looks like we got an entry, and I didn't realize it. Oh, yeah, we did. It was be six pages. Duh. Okay, so here is Rhodes. He drew Rhodes, and it looks so good, so detailed. It's amazing. 
So it turns out we're holed up in a outside a town called Rhodes, deep in old cotton country. This place has not recovered from the war, and those folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk, which is most of them, are angrier still, but perhaps for, for other reasons. Adding to the absurdity, we appear to be planning to deputize ourselves into the local law enforcement. And I have already taken down a major bounty on their behalf, but mo but mostly to rescue slippery old Tre Trelawney, who had gotten himself arrested for some of his usual nonsense. Seems like there's a long-running blood feud between two old families here, and both Dutch and Hosea believe they may be sitting on a lot of gold. We shall see, I guess. And then he even drew the parlor house. It is amazing how much detail his drawings have, you know? Like, they are so good. Oh, hey, Arthur. Oh, he's got blood on him. Okay, is there anything I need to change? Honestly, no, I don't think so. I can't remember if there was a different vest I wore with this or not. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, you know. Because I think I wore... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Gonna go wash off the blood real quick. I believe you can wash it off this way. Yeah, look, the blood's coming off. That's so amazing how much detail this actually has. It's crazy. Oh, it's not washed off. Well, here, let's try this. Yeah, that worked. And then... And there we go. Okay, I actually have to check something real quick, so I'm gonna cut to when after I'm done checking it, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back. And if it looked like I didn't go anywhere at all, that's just because of the way I edit the transitions. But I actually went and checked my like list, uh, some old videos to make sure I wasn't like not wearing the correct vest because I had a feeling and I was correct. I wore this vest earlier with uh, my first custom outfit for doing the, the event location things. I'm supposed to wear this vest right now. And there it goes. I think it looks actually slightly better. I think the color scheming kind of matches a bit better. The yellow vest works fine, but I think this is the better option. So once again, we're going to save. Now that I've corrected my almost mistake with my system that has no impact on anything. But this is where I plan to wear the second vest that you're given at the start of the game. So regardless of that, let's actually go ahead and start Pearson's mission. And then the more of the of this chapter will start to open up to us. Try on doing more like side activities and stuff like that. So I'm kind of happy to get it going. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. 
You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking, Wart. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, Robin and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't the start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Yeah. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting.
If you guys noticed the, the jacket was glitching there for a second, there is a glitch with this jacket that I think if you're underweight, it will do that. So at this point, I don't really care if it does in the middle of a cutscene or anything like that, but it just comes with it. What's in the parcel? Look, it's a moment, all right? For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Ugh, that guy's li living through it right now, I guess. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah! So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Alright, I'll drive us back. 
I'm gonna loot these bodies first and check for their hats and see if any one of them drop any of the special uh, Lemoyne hats. There's two of them, so we wanna specifically look out for that. I just have this feeling that that hat right there is one of them. Nope. That wasn't it. It was ugly anyway. I talk so much shit to the Lemoyne Raiders. <laughs> Nothing to see here, sir. We just defended ourselves and now. Oop, that's one of them. Military officer's hat. I'll have to remember. That's the one we picked up. I know what the other one is supposed to look like. It's just a military officer's hat that I always I'm not sure if I get it right. The other one kind of looks like um just like a regular hat, like nowadays hat with the, it's it's that it's the one that doesn't look like a regular cowboy hat essentially. No, past those range here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, watch it! Yeah. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind Not a chance. Yeah, the journal's for us and us alone, yeah. and that's it. It's not Arthur's private thoughts. It's all of ours. I'm just kidding, Arthur. Don't don't feel like you can't write in there for us. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> We got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And not the pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. And we even got a gold medal, because we're just that good, ladies and gentlemen. And now we also have to find a harmonica for... Mrs. Adler. 